Hi, I'm Pastor Vicki, digital pastor right here at Discover Church. And on Fridays, we take a look at living our faith in the 168 hours of the week. So do you have any questions about faith or the Bible or even the church? You do? Great. Go ahead and share your question in the comments right here in this video, and we'll take a look at that question with you. But today, we're looking at the question of who is Jesus? And that is a great question. See, Jesus is probably one of the best known people in the entire history of the world. He was born in a small village called Nazareth in modern day Israel to a young couple who weren't quite married when Herod was ruling in that region. In fact, Mary, his mother, was a virgin at his birth. How is this possible, you might ask? Well, that's because the Creator God miraculously caused Mary to be pregnant with Jesus to demonstrate God's direct action in Jesus' birth. Now, here's another interesting fact about Jesus. His birth, life, death, and resurrection from the grave fulfilled over 300 prophecies told about him in the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, that's nearly mathematically impossible just to do by chance. And all over his life, we see how Jesus is the promised Savior of the world. And in his life, he taught his closest friends, called the disciples, and other followers of his how to live a life of love and humanity. Now, we're not to strive to be powerful or successful for our own glory. See, Jesus shows us in his life the importance to put others first and to love and serve them with genuine love. It's the same love that God shows us in our own lives. But Jesus also taught how the church is not just an organizational structure. The church is actually made up of the people who love and follow Jesus and are living their faith in the world every day. The church has an organizational structure, but it's to be united as one. And at the end of the day, it's the people who really are the church. And Jesus willingly gave up his life to die a horrific death. Why, you ask? Because he loves you. And without his perfect sacrifice, we can't spend eternity with God. There is nothing any of us can do on our own to earn eternal life. It is only by Jesus' life, death, and resurrection from the grave that we are free from the bondage of sin, which separates us from God. So who is Jesus in your life? He's your savior. He's your best friend who loves you unconditionally and is there with you no matter what. Jesus wants to be in a relationship with you. So here's a question for you. Who is Jesus in your life? He's reaching out to you right now in love. And if you want to start learning more about him and growing in a relationship with him, the message me directly, and I'll talk with you and help you grow in your own relationship with Jesus. And it can start today. And if you already have a relationship with Jesus, great. Here's a question. How are you growing closer to him today? And who are you inviting to get to know Jesus for themselves? Jesus is the Savior of the whole world and for you. And may you see his love surrounding you today in your life. And may you be blessed today as you live your faith in the 168 hours of the week. You have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Sunday.